Well, it's a high cost for this HSE luxury version with the upspec TD6 drivetrain. This is the most expensive discovery you can get outside of the law tradition model, at $117,461 plus on road costs, and that's before you add any options, and our car has plenty of those. The as tested price for it is a sizable $141,606 plus on roads. We'll get to the notable options and a rundown of the standard inclusions in a little bit. But first, let me tell you. The big changes to this new generation Discovery haven't been at the cost of off-road capability, that's for damned sure. Land Rover has always been synonymous with off-roading. If you ask someone on the street to name the most capable dirt driving vehicle, Land Rover will probably be the most common response. Jeep and Toyota would also be in the mix, but the British brand has serious heritage in this domain. Indeed. The previous model Discovery was known for being one of the most capable off-roaders on the planet. This new one? Well it adds even more technical capability. Among other things, it comes with an almost unheard of ground clearance of 283mm in the air suspension's highest setting, 43mm more than before, and it also boasts an incredible weighting capability of 900mm up 200 millimeters on the previous car. The off-road mode saw the electric hair suspension system set to its most generous height, and unlike some other SUVs with high adjustable suspension, there was surprisingly good compliance in that high ride mode, without the telltale topping out feeling. Even with the front wheel up in the air, teetering with terrific balance, while the 3.0-liter turbo diesel V6 engine and 8-speed automatic allowed for composed progress when applying the throttle at low speeds. This very same section of rough terrain was where we tested all the budget 4x4 dual cab utes earlier this year, and it's fair to say that, while incomparable in most ways, the Land Rover smashed all of those vehicles with its astounding capability even on its optional 21-inch alloy wheels with not overly aggressive but impressively wide Continental Conti Sport Cross Contact 275-45 rubber. There is no denying this vehicle is definitely worthy of the Land Rover badge, and that's despite the fact this new model has shifted away from its ladder frame chassis setup to a more car-like aluminium monocoque setup. As a result, the 2,230 kg, curb weight, TD6 HSE Luxury model is a sizable 210 kg lighter than its predecessor, the SDV6 HSE, so that's an impressive achievement. But off-roading like this is often more of a dream than a reality for most people, and Land Rover has put that front of mind for the new Discovery. It is designed to be better on the road. The engine is pretty much a carry-over offering, but with a little bit more power. It has 190 kilowatts at 3,750 revolutions per minute, and 600 newton meters from 1750 to 2,250 revolutions per minute, and while it is a pushy thing in its sweet spot, there is some notable lag from a standstill, and the engine rumbles the cabin at idle. The stop-start system is relatively refined, though, and claimed fuel use is down from 8.8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers to 7.2 liters slash 100 kilometers. We saw an average of 9.9 .9 liters slash 100 kilometers on our test, which encompassed off-road, highway, country and urban driving, mostly with just one occupant, 